The end is near. School had just ended and Joey, Aiden, and Claire were strolling home. Joey was skipping a rock ahead of Aiden and Claire with his shoe. Behind Joey, Claire and Aiden walked side by side, deep in their own thoughts. Aiden was 14, same as Claire. Claire was also Aiden's best friend ever since they were little. Joey was seven, but smart for the age. Claire and Aiden dropped Joey off like they always do and headed for the tower. The tower was their secret hideout where they kept Asteroid, Claire's robot. When the kids got there, Asteroid was trembling in the corner. Claire ran to Asteroid's aid and asks what's wrong. Asteroid, what's wrong? Claire, what have you done and why is there a child? He whispered. Claire whipped around and only to see a familiar blur of a child before she knew it. It was a familiar blur running into the shadow forest. Three of them were running into the shadow forest and were starting to get worried. All they could worry about is they, they were so careless not to see the child. Thunder pounded in the sky to signal the storm. I'm so sorry, Claire. I was so careless not to hear him, Aiden whimpered. It's not anyone's fault. Don't be absurd, called Claire, recalled Claire. A cute cat popped out suddenly from a nearby bush. The cat was orange with white stripes and a weird tiny note around its neck. It has a note on its neck, Astrid said, stating the obvious. Claire went over to the cat and plucked, plucked the ribboned note from its neck. The note was scrolled with neat handwriting, but the note itself was not pleasant. It was scrolled, the end is near. Claire was puzzled by this note, but they all continued to walk until they found a cave where Joey was hiding. They explained everything and left the old cave. As Claire walked back, she felt relief. Her brother understood everything and told her no longer to lie. As they were walking back, she felt everything was no longer her guilt. She looked around, she got up and looked around and saw that the cow was no longer in sight. She was relieved and saddened because the cat was so cute. She was not sad about it, though. Or that sad, at least. There was a big explosion, and all three of them were boosted up into the sky and in a brutal death. The end is finally here. The end is finally here. The end. Thank you for listening.